How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be giving you an overview of the Enveloper plugin. Fun stuff. So let's get right into it. Let's open it up and get going. It's going to be in the Dynamics folder of the plugin menu, and it's going to be the fourth one down. So let's select that. And this is what it looks like when you just open it up. Sweet. So now what does this pl uh, plugin do? What it does is it edits the attack and release of a transient. What is a transient? Transient is basically a short period of time where there's going to be a quick um, increase in volume and then a fade out. Obviously, behind you is an example of that transient. Uh, a snare hit, any percussion hit, is going to model that of a transient. And so this plugin is great when working with percussion, obviously, because we're going to be able to edit the attack and release of every transient or every hit. All right, so let's get into the plugin, and, and uh, I'll explain some stuff here. Uh, so there's going to be the gain and time for both the attack and release, and then there's a threshold and an output level. A very simple plugin, but it's very powerful. The threshold is set off the bat at negative 100 decibels, and that's because we want every single transient to have the attack and release on it. We can set that threshold so that if you increase it, any track above that threshold or any transient above that threshold will have the attack and release on it. Anything below will not. Uh, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I want it on every transient and every transient being this one that we have, right? So whatever, whatever. Um, so threshold is going to be at negative 100 here for this example. And then all you have to do is edit the gain and time for the, both the attack and release. So let's look first at what this track sounds like without the enveloper on it. So pretty standard, as you can see from the waveform, there is going to be a sharp attack on this already. Uh, if you're, if we're getting into more of the percussion here, but if your snare is pretty dull, you're going to want to increase the gain on the attack a little bit to make it sharper. If it's sharp, that means it's basically equivalent to that snare being able to pierce through the mix a little bit more because the transients are very quick and, and it will just be able to pierce through the mix better. All right, so if it's a dull snare that gets lost in the mix, maybe try increasing the attack here. So let's just play with the attack, gain, and time, and I'll just kind of show you what happens. Um, one thing to note is the time expands um, how long or the amount of time that this decays. Um, how long this um, effect decays, basically, so whatever. Okay, let's play with it. All right, so you can see that I was starting to clip when I increased the attack there. So it's very easy to do this when you are working with the attack increase in gain or the release increase in gain. So be careful, and that's why this output level is here on this plugin. So let's now play with the release on this. The goal that I want to do, the goal of doing editing this release is basically getting rid of the ring in the snare. Um, kind of almost compressing the signal, uh, the release of this signal. Okay, so let's kind of play with it and see what happens. So you can see that the ring on the snare was uh, dulled just a little bit. And that's exactly what I was going for when I wanted this. I wanted a, a quick transient, something that will pierce through the mix, but something that's not going to muddy everything else up. And that's what I'm doing here. Now, if I was actually going to be going in and editing this for real and not showing you the parameters, I'd probably do something different. But for the sake of learning this plugin, this is what I've done. Okay. Um, so very simple to uh, use, very simple to understand. Not very many parameters, but like I've shown, it is very powerful, especially with percussion, because percussion is transients. A hit is basically a transient. All right, so that's really all I had to share. There's not too much to do with this. Um, but if you have uh, a certain attack on it, an, an increase in gain on the attack, 
you want this plugin to be transparent. So what you're going to want to do is bypass and unbypass this track until you can see visually on the volume fainter down here that uh, before and after is the same volume. So I'm just going to increase the attack right here and uh, do that exact thing. Uh, so you can see at the volume fader that uh, the before and after um, bypassed unbypassed is completely different from each other um, and the unbypassed is higher so we're going to need to decrease some of this volume to make it volume transparent because that's what we're trying to do here so uh, let's just kind of edit this until we get it uh, to that point actually I hit it right on the head right there so negative four decibels was where the before and after was the same volume. So you can just kind of go through and um, and do this. It's very simple to do, but it makes a world of difference when it comes to mixing and mastering. So everyone, thanks for watching. If you uh, Comment, rate, subscribe first off. If you have any uh, suggestions on future tutorials, quick, before doing anything, go take the survey in the description below. If you see your tutorial that you wanted to see on that survey, Vote for it. The ones that I, I try to get the highest rated ones out as soon as possible. That's basically what the survey is for. If you have any other suggestions, you can put them in the, there's a box where you can write up what you want. And then tell me what you want to see. And if it's something I feel like would be good for the channel, I will put it into the survey. Right? So um, that's really all I have to say. Everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for everyone, every single one of you being freaking bosses day in and day out. You know what I'm saying. Peace out, everyone. See you soon.